Acorns are so full of tannin, they're really bitter and horrible to taste. And they can actually upset your stomach. But the local Indians found a way around that, and they used to leach them by dumping them in water. So I'm going to give it a go. The Indians would use rock pestles and mortars. So they'd select a rock a bit like this one that's got a kind of a natural indent in it, and then just grind them up. You can tell already this is quite a labour-intensive thing. A lot of ancient peoples, when they were in their forties, ended up with really, really flat molars because so many bits of rock and grit ended up in with their food. I mean, just see it here. I mean, I can feel that between my fingers, and later on, that's going to be between my teeth. Right, I'm going to take these down to the stream. That is a decent amount of food. Now I'm going to head back to that little spring where I can soak this acorn mush in the water using my sock. Now, the plan here is to leach out all the tannin out of the acorn into the water, thus making the acorns palatable and a food source. Heavy. It's a massive, fat acorn sock sausage. And hopefully, the water should leach out all the bit of tannin. Well, I'm going to leave that in the water overnight, so that's breakfast sorted. And for dinner, I've got a different plan. So while Mike's out gathering wood, I'm going to whip us up a Native American acorn breakfast to give us a little boost. This thing's been leaching all night, and it feels really kind of gloopy. I'm going to pound it a few times to get rid of any extra lumps, because I'm going to try and make it into bread. Now, something that Mike always teases me about is hygiene. But I have been sick so many times when I've been surviving. And it's mainly because, I mean, look at my nails. It's that going into my mouth. The ash from fresh wood fires and water is almost as efficient at removing germs from your hands as soap and water. This is cleaning my hands. There you go, loads cleaner. <laughs> wow, I mean, look at that. It's almost like a little patty already. There you go. One breakfast biscuit. Hope he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> 